Okay, so here we have a 2006 Honda four-stroke, eight horsepower outboard motor. And what I'm gonna show today is basically how to check and verify that your cam and crankshaft are timed with each other along with the CDI ignition system. So looking at the camshaft here, we can see that the wheel on it has a dimple marked in it. And that dimple is going to line up and correspond with the dimple that is punched into and marked in the cases. And then to check the crankshaft or the flywheel up here, you'll have two marks you're gonna be looking at. You're gonna be looking at an F mark this is the line next to it, that's the actual reference point, and a T mark, and its line is next to it. And you're going to be using those points, lining them up with a reference point, which is actually hidden underneath here, but is punched in the center of this mounting boss. So if you basically split the center of this underneath this cover here for the pull start, you would find another mark that's your indication point. That just so happens to also line up with the split in the cases. So you don't necessarily have to remove this cover to be able to know if you're in line because if you're off by one or more teeth here on the belt, it's actually gonna put the marks pretty far off from the center point. So you're gonna know if you got it right. Anyways, let's verify that these are set right. So the first thing you would do is rotate this pulley until that punch mark in the pulley right there lines up with the punch mark in the cases. Now I've used a black magic marker to mark them both. Once those two things are aligned, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a look now at the flywheel, the crankshaft, and what you're looking for is you're looking for the T mark. Right now, with these two lined up, the T mark should be lined up with the center mark that's underneath this cover. And so, if you look off to the side here, you might just be able to see it. But basically, it is lined up with the center. What that tells us now is that the crankshaft and the camshaft are probably in, uh, timed with one another. So if you're doing like a belt change, this is when you would wanna slip your belt over the two of them, is when all of those marks line up. Okay, now the next thing to do is to verify that your ignition timing is set correctly. So going back to the flywheel here, you got your two marks, your T, and your F. Well, please excuse the noisy car. The F is your fire mark when your ignition fires, and your T is your top dead center. And since the ignition always fires slightly in advance of top dead center, what you want to do now is verify that when the F mark is lined up with the center, that your ignition is actually lined up to fire the spark plug. So to do that, what you do is you remove this rubber cap here to expose your ignition. And if you look down inside here, you can see a trigger and an ignition plate. And so what you do is you rotate this 180 degrees from having the two dimples lined up until you see your ignition line up in the window. And if you look down inside there, you can see the trigger and ignition plate. One on the left there has a single line and the other has a double line. And you wanna make sure that that single line is in the center zone of the double lines. 
Now, if that's correct, you then want to go up to your flywheel here, which is connected to the crankshaft, and now you want to verify that the F mark, its line is pointing at the center of this boss right here. Like I said before, there's a mark behind here. It's punched in the center. You'd have to remove the pull start housing to be able to see it, but you can, you can line it up just by looking. And if you wanted to, you could even measure in degrees how far off it is. But basically right now, if you look down here, with these lined up, that means that the ignition system's gonna fire. And so you wanna make sure that the crankshaft is just before top dead center for your initial advance. And if you look inside there, you can see that it is. So now we know that the camshaft and the crankshaft are timed with each other by the way of this belt. And now we know also that the ignition system is properly timed so that it fires at the point in the uh, combustion stroke where you want it to fire. Anyways, hope that's been helpful. Thanks.